What's happening guys in Grimo once again and today is Friday the last working day of the week but you know the cryptos don't really stand for 524 but it's 724 so we will be also covering more videos over the weekend as well but today I want to touch base on Ether, Bitcoin and, and additionally Stellar so currently as we speak today Bitcoin price stands at somewhere around 6500 according to Icon sentiment and the resistance for it, it stands at, I'm going to read from my paper of course, 6625. Following targets for me according to my Fibonacci analysis stands at 6965, 7210 and 7500. And for support, Bitcoin has its support at, well I have two layers of support for Bitcoin and it's at 6270 and 5,975. If you wonder how I define this, go ahead and watch the first video for this week where I shared my actual chart to, to explain how I define these things. For Ether, meanwhile, the current price stands at $301, resistance is at $315, following targets, here are important ones, $360 and $420, and I look into short opportunity from $420, as it falls into 61.8% through Fibonacci wave. And support meanwhile for Ether is $251. Now, for Stellar, I, I've added it, it's because of the fact that on top 10, currently we have two pairs or two currencies on bullish mode, according to iCoin sentiment. That is Bitcoin, which stands as number one, and Stellar is on the sixth place on uh, top 10 of the cryptocurrencies. And for Stellar, current price is at 22.2 cent. Uh, resistance for me that I've identified stands at 23.3 cent. And following targets that I'll be looking forward is 24.15 cent, 26.20 cent, and 28.25 cent. And one more time, 28.25 cent is where I will look into short opportunities. Meanwhile, my support line for Stellar is staying at 19.6 cent. That being said, let's move on to some news part. And I believe these are the to the moon to the moon part, basically. So, according to the Thai SEC Commission, they have announced the names of firms which have received a temporary permit to carry out crypto related activities. It's not a lot of them, only seven currency companies or cryptocurrency companies have been approved. It's nonetheless still a positive news for the fact that previously SEC said that we will not be accepting anybody, anybody to do any cryptocurrency activity unless they are being approved by us. Well, now there are seven of them and there are more that are about to be approved. Well, well done Thailand, uh, well done. Now Coinbase additionally acquires digital identity startup distributing well I will repeat again Coinbase acquired digital identity startup distributed systems that's their names I, I, I almost made a mistake myself so that's a good point as well uh, I have additional good news about Coinbase which I'll be sharing on my next video by the way South Korean Ministry dropped the cryptocurrency exchanges as uh, venture enterprise ca uh, classified entities. That's also okay, whatever. Uh, Jamaica Stock Exchange is set to introduce regulated cryptocurrency uh, trading. Well, they previously they, they have been also working on a number of cryptocurrency related activities. Well done, Jamaica. You are moving forward. And for some reason, I see some of the islands doing better job than mainland countries, well, who cares, right? Well, hello Europe, wake up. Well, next, Square announced Bitcoin trading expansion to all US states. Uh, Square is a payment service provider in a way. So it's also a good point. That means that more American retail people and the institutional, whatever it is, will have access to cryptocurrency. So well done Square, thank you very much. Kuwait Finance House, Meanwhile, confirmed Ripple as a cross-border transaction solution. They'll be using Ripple. Here is a hint and a side note. I'm not a supporter of uh, Ripple for the fact that I don't believe that it's a cryptocurrency. But nonetheless, 
uh, any news that is getting close to blockchain application or cryptocurrency application is a good news. That being said, if you have any other comment or question or any cryptocurrency that you would like me to touch base, I want you to go ahead and type it on the comment section below and I'll be covering it in my, in, in my next session. For my analysis, uh, from technical perspective, I always use true Fibonacci analysis. Those of you who are wondering what is my chart looking like, basically I use two moving averages, that is uh, 20 and uh, 100 moving average or 50 and 200 moving averages, depending on the time frame that I'm, I'll be using it. And I start from weekly time frame, then move into hourly time frame. That's how I identify. Meanwhile, my Fibonacci is always and always drawn on weekly time frame and it's valid. Uh, once it's drawn, it's valid between 24 to 48 months unless the market really shifts around. That's why it's called true Fibonacci wave, where you identify the trend once and for all. For, where, well, not for all, but for quite a very long time. Additionally, there are quite a few good ICOs that are coming up uh, ahead of us. One of the ICOs that I'm going to be watching out is called Coin Analyst. Uh, guys are joining or uh, hosting their ICO from uh, Frankfurt. They have been bootstrapping their activities for the last seven years. Not necessarily on a blockchain side, but they have the AI solution and now they, they are moving for cryptocurrency side. They call themselves Bloomberg of the crypto world. Uh, this is not a sponsored post, I'm however advising them, so that's just a side note. Additionally, there is Loyak coming to its end uh, in a few uh, weeks, by the end of the month. Loyak is an enterprise solution, it's not really uh, retail oriented, but however, if you are an enterprise looking for encrypted communication for RFQs and RFPs, it's a good solution as well. Uh, what we have finished ourselves uh, recently, where I was advising uh, and uh, I donated $300,000 worth of my services to one of the healthcare startups called Grapevine. So Grapevine is coming to its end. Uh, it already did finish up the, its ICO, but it's going to be listed in an exchange very soon. Um, it's worth uh, following them. And one of the exchanges is catching my personal attention, it's going to go fully live on the 31st of August, that's called CGCX, that's an exchange from Singapore, they finished their ICO a while ago, and they're offering fully insured crypto market for you. That means whether you have fiat or crypto, all your funds are insured. So that's another great opportunity to go ahead and check it, not really giving, uh, well, a kind of monopoly for the exchanges. This is summing up for this working days of the week. I'll see you tomorrow in my next video. And in the meantime, one more time, please subscribe to, to our YouTube channel, write your comment, give your feedback, and I know, microphone, we will be developing it. We have ordered the new microphone, it should be arriving very soon. I'll see you very soon. This is Yagub Rahimov, joining from A2ZMarkets.com. Take care, have a great one.